Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you data validation with conditional formatting. So this video is quite important. Don't skip and watch till the end. Let's jump into the video. I created a very simple example where there is a fruit color, marquee, region and availability of the fruit. So what I want, I have two requirements. First, I want to have a drop down list in this column, in this fruit column. So where I can select the fruit type. And my second requirement is when I select the fruit type, for example, orange, so it selects its respective color as well, which is this orange color, maroon color and the yellow color for the banana. So let's start with the first requirement. First requirement is to have a drop down list. First, I will select all these cells and then I'll go to the data tab there is a data validation option here under data tools click on this one very first option data validation a window will pop up from here you can see there are different options I will select the list because I want to create a drop down list select this one and then you'll see the source option so I will provide the data source click on this one a window will pop up so you will select this data range because I want to add these fruits in my drop down list press enter now if you press ok now you can see the drop down list has been applied on all these cells if I click on this list on the button on this side, if I click this, you can see the orange, apple and the banana. You can select any fruit which you want. For example, if I want to select the orange, I select this one, orange fruit will select. And second, if I want to select the apple, it will select the apple. But, but next thing is I want to have the color with this fruit as well. For example, when I selected the orange, it should have selected this orange color as well so for doing this we need the help of conditional formatting so what I will do I will select all these cells and then from the home tab you can see the option conditional formatting if I select this one and you can see third last option new rule if I click this one a window will pop up now I need to create a rule First, I will select this option format only cells that contain because I want to specify with the, some word. So that's why I selected this option. Then from edit the rule description from here, I will select specific text because I want to format the cells if it has this specific text. So what is my text? From here, you can provide the data source. I click on this one. My first text, specific text is orange. If I select this one, then press enter. Now I will select the formatting. You can see the format but button if you click on this one. So what I want, I want the cell colors should be orange when I select the word orange. So I will select this orange color. And if I want to have a white font of my text, so I will go to the font tab and here you can select the color. Click on this one. You can select the white color. Click this one and press OK. So it will provide you the sample. Your, your cell will look like this one. There's a white text and the orange background. Press OK. Now you have created the first rule for this specific text orange. Now move, in, move on to the next rule. Again from the home tab, conditional formatting, go to the new rule and again format only cells that contain and from here you select the specific text and then you will provide the data source. This time my data source will be Apple. This is my specific text and then press enter. And again I will select the formatting formatting I want again the white text and then in the fill tab I will select its background color which is that maroon color select this one press ok so it will provide you the sample your cell will look like this I'm okay with that press ok now the 
second rule has been created as well. Move on to the next rule because I have another specific text to account for. Again from the home tab go to the conditional formatting, new rule, second option format only cells that contain and from here you can select the specific text and then you will provide the data source. This time my specific text, my data source is this word banana. Select this cell, press enter. Now I will format it. This time the background color should be yellow. So I will select the yellow color and from the font tab I will select it's I'll leave it to automatic colors or press OK. So now you can see the sample of this text and its background color. Press OK. Now the all the rules have been created. I have created the three rules for three specific text. If, if I have the six specific text, I will create the six specific rules because I need to select. Uh, sorry, I want the color to be selected with the word as well. So now you can see if I select the word banana, you can see the yellow color has been selected along with word banana due to conditional formatting rule. If I select the orange word, so it will select the orange color. Again, apple, so it will select the apple with maroon color. So this is how you create the drop down list and you can select the color as well. The color will be automatically selected. Now, we discuss about the input message. For example, if I type something else, some other word here. So will it let me type, for example, I try grapes press enter so it's showing me the error message it's showing the, va the value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell. so if i try to define try to write some other word so it won't let me let me enter this word for example if i want and uh, it let me enter something other than these three words so again i will select these cells and i'll go to the data tab then data validation first option and you can see the error alert there are different option there are stop option warning on option and the information option if I select this stop option which is currently selected now so it won't let me enter anything other than these three fruit types orange apple and banana if I select the warning message so it will provide the warning like this but it will let me enter the other word other fruit type you know, press ok now if I try to type the some other fruit press enter so it will give me the warning but if I press yes so it will let me enter that word so and third option again select this one data validation again third option is the information so it will just provide the information like this and it will let me enter for example I type avocado press enter so it will just give me the information then press ok so it will let you type so this is how you can use the data validation along with conditional formatting hit the like button if you like this video and leave the comment in below section if this video helpful make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more tips and tricks so i'll see you guys in next video